Thank you for giving me the chance to interview you. Can you please tell us something about yourself? How old are you? About your educational qualification and about something about your family. I'm a son who has been playing with Colombo media. So when Ringo is saying that he is coming, he is going to be in the in the in the members of the Israel. I mean, I'm not going to be a concern. I'm 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 going to be a concern. She is 21 years of age. Yes. She has eight members in her family, and she was uh, enrolled in the first year of geology, 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 in Kale University. Yes. Okay. Tell us something about the group you are associated with, the resistance group, and uh, what kind of military training have you taken already? Oh, e tu na yon empo lang yung omatsuan ko yung training ah, yung hinang yung training. Tu na yon chin life. Why now? Why now? She is in Chiang Rai Fu, and she is even training in CNA at Chiang Rai Fu last year, last twenty twenty one. In so you are she is engaged with Chin Rifles, yes, right now, and she had taken training under Chin National Army in Camp Victoria. That was last year. Last twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty. Okay, 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 fine. What prompted you to join the resistance movement? Enginnya di tolong ibu kerja, ramu kerja. Oh, aku nak cakap kau 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 nak buat kerja. Kalau ni ada buat kan, ni senda pula kan, kau ni ada pakai kau ni yang susu susu ni kan. Ah, anjang ni ada buat kan, lupa tu ni ada ada pun kau ni yang senda pula. At first, I don't feel much about the civilization, but when we were protest and her mom and her, her dad, her parents are included at the protesting, and when she saw her parents, when she saw her parents were suffering since uh, the first coup of 1988, 88. Yeah, uh, there's uh, something that speak to to her, prompted to, her, yeah, prompted her, promote, uh, uh, motivated yeah, motivate her, her yeah, motivate her to join this school. Okay, then what we understand is that before she was born, or rather, she her parents had suffered during the 1988 uprising. Yes. Then during this uh, during this time after uh, 2021 after the military regime, her parents had participated in the protest movement. Yes. And that prompted her to join the resistance movement, take training, and take up weapons. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Okay. How many women like you are in the camps who have taken up weapons and are staying in the camps? In our camps, in in the camps overall, in in the in Kale region, in the PDFs, how many women like you, who have taken up weapons, who are staying in the camps? Oh, to na i hindi kan Kale region na mo kan Kale pumbayan, so nang maanghun siya he i ramu asila kung hindi exact dani ama ramu asila kung ah Kale region na may sa abay Kale region abay at then eh in all of Kali region, uh, who are taking arms and living in the jungle, maybe around 40 to 50. Around 40 50 women like her, yes, like who are staying in the camps, yes. in the jungles, yes. who, have, who, are, who have taken up weapons to fight the military junta. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, women. What I have, I have been moving around in this region for the last four days. Yes. What I have noticed is that they, I have seen some women, and I have also heard that more women are more in non-military roles than military roles. Okay, doing different kinds of work, or maybe there are women also engaged in the movement. They are in the villages performing different roles. What is her opinion on that? <laughs> Military rules, lena military rules mo. Ramu le mo lau tehi an omaheng zong zong hai ingi ibu dan ramu le mo lau zong zong. Eh, 
Bichan ka so kuswa nga amin ang liya sa pote ang titin ang mga medikal ang kong ama. Then atin mo so, atin mo so ki sila ngayon. Ang si, ang, ang ang kong atin mo so kanya. Bichan kanin ang lava, kanha sa nitin ang lava. Ang liya, kanan yung tayo nito ba? Kanan yung tayo nito ba? Da ibi, kan, atin mo so lang. Oh, baby, okay. I'm going to... She said that uh, in such many ways, uh, some of uh, some of like her, women are uh, in the village and supporting and some are in medical, uh, medical, part, medical department. And I think um, people are not safe. Some have a more grief heart and that's why yeah, I respect them in any way. I think it's the really good, good choice to be, yeah. Okay, uh, what you say that not all women are the same. Yes. Not all, not all women are brave hearts. Yes. But nonetheless, may, there are many women contributing to the movement in different roles and capacities. Yes. Some are medics and some, some are supporters. Some are supporters. Some are social media, yeah. Social influencer. Social influencers. Yes. Okay, and they are, as you said, they are also living in different, not in the camps, but in villages and towns. Yes. But they are giving active support to the resistance movement. Yes. Okay. And that number would probably be more than the definitely more than the women who have taken up weapons. Yes, there will be more. Okay. Okay. Is the resistance movement moving in the right direction? What do you feel? Or rather, uh. I have been when I when I I in the past few days I have seen about how many many PDFs. One thing that I have noticed after talking to some people that there is lack of unity. Some are functioning independently. Some are coordinating with each other. Okay. Some are suffering from shortage of weapons, ammunition. They have the money, but they don't have the sources. Some PDFs have more sources to access to sources of weapons and ammunition. What is your opinion about that? What are what the resistance? What are the weaknesses of the resistance? movement. <laughs> Kem pakai pakai apa sih pakai pakai tu? Ini indung kan indung dua lagi na, macam tu lima lah pun ni se, apa sih pakai dia pakai tu ni se kan indung dua lagi na. Atsah nak kerjain dia pakai tu ini ni mana dua lito le ini tu dua lito ini bangki anu ini tu. Yang langsung ah, I think that. The, the the main reason that we can, we can be well, how how you say the main reason that we can get united overcome the weakness yeah, overcome the weakness uh, uh, some of the leaders and some of the team want to show more powers and more uh, how want to be controlled and okay. want to be uh, uh, some leaders want, want to, to be, uh, want to control the movement control the movement and overcome all this okay yeah. this one it's just like. Uh, some some PDF and some others are like same as the junta. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's the ring. Is the ring. So the some ring. PDFs are the same as the junta. They are behaving like the junta. Yeah, they are behaving because they are holding arms now. They thought that they are they are the holder of the law and they are the yeah. And they have weapons. They have Those weapons. PDFs think that they have weapons and they have the they have the, the right to exercise yes. the authority. Yes. So that that is a severe weakness of the resistance movement. Yes. Okay, okay. Any other weakness can that she can think of? Uh, shortage of anything, resources or something? Resources. Or do not. Till that in a zone low. A resource lama more. They hear me till that. In a dante name. In him. In to do not they are not young. She to me that in till that. Oh. I think so. Yeah, by now, I'm not young. She not. Hey, I think so. Me money, me pay. 
Hindi po eh. Mga ina, kanila na ilaw ito. Hindi po siya. Some of the PDF really don't hit the lot of the people. Okay. Yeah, this way. They're doing their job, they're doing their work only for themselves. Okay. Most of them don't realize that we are working for the people, we are working for the country. This way. Uh, how we say it? Uh, what, what she means to say is that not all the PDFs, not all the resistance groups have the same goals and objectives. Yes, the goals. Some have objectives. selfish motives. Yes, selfish motives. Okay, that is that is according to her the greatest weakness of the resistance movement. Yes. And that is also hampering unity. Yes. Am I right? Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. What is your opinion about the elections that are being planned by the military government very soon, within a few months? Yes. What is going to happen? Oh, the, uh, this upcoming election mm -hmm. will be held by the junta, so I don't hope really much. Uh, and, and also, most of the people will be afraid to be voted. Yes. She doesn't have too much of high hopes high, yes. on the elections. Yes. And people will be afraid to come out and vote. Yes. If they vote lies, the NLD, huh. what, will, what will be coming, they all know. So uh, she said people also won't have any hope, any high hope for this. People also so, don't have any high hopes. Uh, and if she also means to say that she mentioned something about NLD. So yes. if there is fair and free election, NLD will again come back to power. Yes. Okay. okay. That's right. Uh, in this election, nothing will be changed, nothing will be different, but there will be a, a big a big war, a big problem will be coming. Okay, with this election, election, nothing is going to change? Yes, nothing going to change by this election. Okay, my last question to you. What do you think is the future of the resistance movement? How long will it last? And will the military, do you think that the military regime will be toppled, can be overthrown? Hey, revolution, in theory, in the hey, revolution, Revolution <laughs> I'm not sure about this revolution, but it might be long. It might last long. It last. It might last long. Yeah, it might last long, but uh, the people also will suffer. But people will also suffer. Yes, people will also suffer. But in the end, we'll, we'll, the people will win. In the end, people will win. Yes. So, do you think this is going to be the last rebel rebellion in Myanmar? Hey, he at the he can mirama mo Myanmar e e. Revolution mode, the man, he don't let the leg and only he at home and earring and in the room. Oh, eh, the time taken so, oh, the time, eh, and the tune revolution, he can eat some curtain, eh, Jiang Zole, eh, the other can go take on India, then low me pony young, can to a dandy, and the coping again to a dandy dream, and the coping and to be she too vacant young, then nakina po ni se kan tu le fa te nakina la la am tu te tam po ni se kitam lo khreng le lo tu ra tum him tu vek kan ni kan my answer was yes and my answer was yes and we are the one who suffer right now so and no one would uh, allow to happen kind of this thing in a future so uh, this will be the last and uh, the people the younger the youngster, uh, the younger generation, the younger generation uh, that are running today will uh, finish this rebel by this time. So, uh, in a nutshell, yes. she thinks this is going to be the last, last. rebellion. 
yes. in Myanmar. Yes. And the younger generation should not suffer any longer. Yes. Like the elder, like the previous generations have suffered. Yes. So she thinks this is going to be the last rebellion in the country. Yes. Even it might last long, she thinks that the military government, military regime is going to be toppled. Yes. She said, how is it? Thank you so much.